Israel and Arab lands, the Arabic language, Islamic religion, and the Arab-Israeli conflict. Your objectives are to identify the Arab-speaking nations on a blank map, to identify three ways most nations in this area are similar, to state three ways that Israel is different from other nations in this area, to recognize the purpose of OPEC, to explain why people who live where they do and why they don't live where they don't. Terms and places. Islam is the majority religion in this area. Arabic is the majority language in this area. The Suez Canal connects the Mediterranean with the Indian Ocean. OPEC is the Organization for Petroleum Exporting Countries. Israel is the nation that is the exception. Atlas Mountains lie in the northwest corner of Africa. So, where are the borders of the Muslim world? Well, you've got Europe and Russia on the north, and it extends all the way down to the southern edge of the Sahara Desert. On the east, it ends at the high mountains of China and at India. Now, the Muslim world is in both North Africa and Southwest Asia, as well as Indonesia. But for now, let's divide that in two. First, we'll look at the Israel and the nations that speak Arabic. And then later, we'll look at the Southwest Asian nations that speak languages other than Arabic. North Africa and the Arabian Peninsula are united by a common language. That is Arabic. Written Arabic is alphabetic, meaning it has a symbol for each sound. Arabic is written from right to left. Watch this video on the Arabic language and how it is written. All right, terrain regions of North Africa and the Arabian Peninsula. There are three fertile areas and there are two desert areas. To generalize, we have the Atlas Mountains and the coastline. We have the Nile River and its delta. And we have Mesopotamia. Those are the three fertile areas. We also have the Sahara Desert and the Arabian Deserts. First, the Atlas Mountains on the coast. Uh, here's the Atlas Mountains. A picture of Morocco. This area is more fertile than that area that lies to the east. That is the Sahara Desert. Uh, clearly, it gets more green, as you see in the picture of the Atlas Mountains. The Sahara Desert. The Sahara Desert is the largest desert in the world after Antarctica. Uh, very few people live here. Uh, the, desert, the desert, however, is not all the same as several types of terrain. For example, an erg. An erg is a sea of dunes. People often think of this when they think of the Sahara. But not all of it is like that. Uh, there is a hamada, rocky plains. There is also old volcanic rock. And an oasis. An oasis is a small source of water in the desert. Knowing the location of oases is vital for crossing the desert alive. The Nile River and its delta. The Nile River is the most fertile area in the region. Annual flooding brings new soil onto the land around the river. 95% of Egyptians live here, either in the river or in the delta. The Arab Arabian Deserts. In the north, you have the Nafud, which is a stony desert. In the middle, you have the Naj, which is a plateau. It offers some grazing. A few more people live here than in the other deserts. In the south is the Empty Quarter, a desert of sand. Almost no one lives here. It contains some of the deepest sand in the world, sometimes 600 feet deep. The Sahara Desert is almost empty of people, as you can see in this population map.
The people of the North Africa and the Arabian Peninsula live along the coast and along the Nile. An important exception would be Riyadh, the largest city in Saudi Arabia. Islam is the main religion of this area. People who are members of Islam are called Muslims. There's the Sunni Muslim, which is the majority. There's also the Shia or Shiite Muslim and the Abadi Muslims. The Suez Canal was dug to connect the Red Sea, which leads to the Indian Ocean, with the Mediterranean. Here's an American aircraft carrier traveling through it. The Suez Canal shortened the trip from India to London by over 5,000 miles. Several countries of North Africa and Southwest Asia are members of an organization called OPEC, the Oil Producing and Exporting Countries, sometimes translated the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries. Look at this graph of the world's crude oil reserves in billions of barrels. How does the oil in the Middle East compare to other parts of the world? One important exception in this region is the tiny country of Israel. There is no oil here. The people here speak Hebrew, not Arabic. Israel is not a Muslim state. It is a Jewish state. However, not everyone that lives here is Jewish. Uh, here's the Dome of the Rock. It's a mosque. It's a place of worship for Muslims. It is in Jerusalem, the capital city of Israel. It sits on the site of the Temple of the Jews, which was destroyed long ago. Many Jews long for the day when they can rebuild this temple. The fact that there's a Muslim sit, uh, mosque on there makes some Jewish Israelis angry. Here's a map of Israeli settlements in an area called the West Bank. Uh, many Muslims feel that this should be their part of the land. Uh, they feel that Jewish Israelis are moving in in order to take over. This makes some Muslims of the area angry. Too many people in this part of the world are angry. What is the color of the map that most correctly shows the Arabic-speaking nations? It, of course, is the purple map. Which of the following is in Arabic? Recognize Arabic script. Just for your information, the top is Burmese, Sanskrit, and Thai. What is the majority religion of this area? What is the purpose of OPEC? Is it designed to spread the beliefs of Islam? Is it trying to keep peace in the Middle East? Or is it trying to regulate the price of oil? Which best describes where most people live in the Arab-speaking lands? They live along the valleys and in the forests? Along the coasts and rivers? Or do they live in the mountains and the deserts? Which is not one of the reasons that Israel is different from the other nations in this area? Is it religion, natural resources, language, or climate? Climate is about the same as the other nations in this area. And what's the major religion of Israel? Jewish. What does the Suez Canal connect? The Arabian Indian Ocean? The Mediterranean and the Indian Ocean, the Caspian Sea and the Black Sea, or the Mediterranean Sea and the Atlantic Ocean. It connects the Mediterranean with the Indian Ocean. 
Now, please turn to your textbooks and read these two articles.